when I was quite young, an early teenager, I, f I fell off a horse. Um, and my, in those days, you didn't have straps, and my head, head thing fell off. And, and so I went smash onto a road. Then I had a baby, and she was eight weeks early. <laughs> and they said I'd got postnatal depression. She was emotionally stressed. She was chemically changed because of the baby. She had a physical trauma, and they call it postpartum depression. The treatment, this is hard to say, 32 electric shock treatments in one year. And I didn't know my name or who I was or where I lived. And it was really hard. My husband left, so I was left with my baby. You didn't get much help in those days, and you just got on with life. As I got older, the symptoms of sort of there, and I've got all sorts of energy. I'm very, very sensitive to electromagnetics. The electric shock treatments were designed to arouse the nervous system. And you know, maybe one out of 20 or one out of 40 people, they have some type of response. The remainder of those people are traumatized from the event. So they think, well, it didn't work, let's hit them again. And, and they keep going after it with the same frequency or a little bit more frequency just to see if it could reach the threshold to arouse the nervous system. But the arousal just produces trauma for a very short period of time. Are you with me? So then, is it possible that not even consciously your body subconsciously stores the trauma in there from energy? The, the bar has been set, and so anything that even remotely starts to, that she senses is going to switch the body into that aroused state. So the trauma is in the body. You got it? So now it comes time to surrender to this energy. Imagine her past and the experience that she has to reckon with to work with her body enough to trust again to surrender to a frequency or to an energy. And so when she works into the present moment and she starts relaxing and surrendering, she's relaxing her body into the present moment. She's bringing her body into the present moment repeatedly. And finally, the body is no longer in the past. It finally lets go and surrenders. And now, here comes this energy. And this energy that's moving through her body literally is the trauma that's being reorganized. We've done a whole week of, of learning his technique, how to meditate and how to open up your heart and all these things. And um, it has just radically changed how I feel. I, I feel as strong as I could move mountains. That's what I felt this morning. I could move mountains. I've never in my life felt such love from the group of people here, ever. I've never, I've never experienced that. And the sort of way we've learned to heal ourselves is, is really quite the most extraordinary thing in the world. I mean, it's, it's just magic. It's beyond magic. And that's what I've come to share. I, I wouldn't share this unless I felt that there were loads of people out there who could use this. And for me, and what I've been through, which is many, many years ago, but it's obviously lain latent in me. I've tried to do what I can to help myself, but this is something that has just changed my life. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs>